play the B major as a legato sequence of thirds just to see how you don't have to lift your fingers up and down, but you just what use the traction. I'm not using any finger action, you notice? Yeah. I'm like a caterpillar along the keys. Yeah. Because when you go fast, you're just going to snip that out. Of course, you can do doubles and then singles. Yeah, yeah. But I okay. think that will okay. try that. Try to do the, uh, the zigzagging along the traction along like a caterpillar. The third's with you. Each hand alone, what do you do? You do one, three, two, four, three, five. And you're just rolling side to side, right? And of course, okay. the next step would be to double that, right? Okay. And then you're going to do after that. At the very end, you just snip it out. Okay, and, but okay. You still do that motion, right? Because you don't want to get this kind of thing. It doesn't work fast. So that's what we're... And then for contrary, you would what? Eventually, I'm not saying start the speed. Sure, right? sure. Right. Then you get the motion. The most important thing is the motion. Yeah. And you're going to come, just this. Actually, I'm going to do this. Watch. Let me do it first. Not you yet. Now you do the same exact thing. Okay. But the rhythm was almost there. Let's look at it again. continue your presence of mind and not get lumpy and, and, and anticipate and all that right now let's okay. see, can do the whole thing starting there and then you know double and back and the whole thing let's try okay. from here again but we're going to continue on down with the double right with the transition continuing all the way Start going faster in those d double speeds. Stay yeah. Steady. for us is jump starting and the transitional rhythm to double speed so now you have to what do you have to practice now you have it's faster thing coming back in yeah yeah you have to practice the 16th to the 30 seconds now Turn around. That's what we're really working on. The turnaround. Okay. 